Welcome to the channel folks, Clunkers and Classics, and this will be episode 6. Uh, we got quite a bit of work done in the last video. Uh, I'm just going to finish off all the little stuff. Since then, last video, I replaced that fuel filter, and I'm doing the rear end fluid right now on it. I took off the cover, letting her drain out. Uh, there was fluid in there. It's foamy. I forgot what foamy meant, but uh, we're going to let it drain out, clean up that. Uh, all the old oil, scrape the gasket, and clean off the cap. That whole, all the rear end and everything under here is all going poor 15. So we're doing that while I'm at it, scraping it off. Okay, uh, got the weather strip in today for the doors. Seems every time I get them, they're from that super soft. Seems to be good stuff. That is just weather stripping here. I wish I kind of left this door off when I did the door pins, but we're going to, uh, Strip all that off and paint the door jams, then put the new weather stripping on there. Now the consensus is that silver. I gave everybody a choice, silver or red. And uh, by a two to one margin, silver with the black stripes, uh, one. So I'm about through this trunk. I just got this weather stripping just sitting there like that. It's not glued in. So I'm going to take that out, take this trim off, take the tail lights, license plate, everything off. And then we're going to paint all the, all that, jam well, I got to fix these dents. There's some dents and stuff here. Fix all that, sand it all down, prime it, and then paint that. And under the deck lid, uh, I got to strip off these, this bumper filler we already fixed them corner ones in the last video we're gonna sand them down paint them silver paint it all silver in here and then put it all back together put the new tail lights in bumper fillers on then the bumper then the uh, weather strip so this whole back end will be done okay uh, probably get that done this video the interior oh uh, I got the guys I found the guys number for that parts Nova hopefully he's got a good door I'm gonna call him here in just a little bit see if I can make arrangements to go pick up that that Nova it's just a a rolling pile of junk I I just hope if the doors good on it, it'll be worth me buying then I can sell the rest of the stuff to get my money back but he only wants like 300 for it. But maybe it's got a, he said the interior shot and I seen it, but it's been like five or six years ago. We'll check out the dash headliner and all that, but I don't think any interior is gonna be any good. But it could be some stuff we could use on it. Maybe there's a good mirror for that door. I don't know. So yeah, we got a regular Nova Fest going on here. We got the 68. Uh, that we're going to take the engine transmission out of. I got a friend of mine. Should be coming over here in the next few days. I'm going to hire him part-time half days here to... Uh, we're going to get this car taken apart. Uh, and then the 72 over here. I'm going to have them pull the, the LT engine out of it. And... Uh, we're going to get all that cleaned up. And we're going to take the whole front end off. Then the motor transmission. And then uh, we're going to paint all underneath here. I'm not going to go over this too much. We're going to save this for the for the 72 Nova videos. Uh, so I'm going to be having him do that while I work on the 78. Because the main priority is to get this 78 done. And, but I'm not going to rush anything. Uh, I mean, I could work on both of them at the same time, but I'd rather not. I'd rather get this one done, but I'm kind of excited about the 72 and the 
Uh, supposed to be a 669, but people keep saying it's 68. Insurance and uh, registration says 69, so I don't know. I'll check the VIN on it, maybe run that. <coughs> okay, uh, so I don't know what, don't want to get too far ahead of myself. We're going to get some of the interior done on it. Uh, take it all apart. All the little plastic pieces and everything. I put them back in the trunk. These are all these pieces here. I bought some black. I couldn't get no black. It's just a kid working at the, at the uh, auto paint store. And I wanted some vinyl paint mixed up. But he said he all they had was cans. So anyway, I got all this plastic stuff here. And got this these cans here they're small cans it's seventeen dollars and something a uh, can so anyway I bought two cans of them so I cleared out the shop here uh, I'm gonna put them on some boxes and stuff spread them all out paint all them black uh, not sure about the back seat whether I put a cover over it or what but we're gonna get at least that oh and these back panels these plastic door panels here I'm gonna take them out paint them black too looks like somebody already painted them black and sanded them uh, sun visors okay so we're gonna probably get that done this video get this back end painted and then a bunch of little stuff uh, whatever I come across I got a whole laundry list of stuff to do on this but mechanically it's just about there I believe we're just waiting on the uh, filled up the transmission uh, just waiting on it to see if it starts leaking again uh, oh we got to take it for a test drive when I get that silver painted on the back and the back bumper on we're gonna take it for a test drive I don't know if we can get it done this video maybe uh, I drove it around the property here. Okay, so uh, I'll be back next segment. I just wanted to start this video off before it got dark. Because <laughs> uh, it's still in the high 90s every day this week. It's just hot as hell to work out here in the daytime. I work in the morning and then at night. So... Okay, uh, I'll be back next segment when I get some stuff done. Okay, guys, I'm getting into the back end here. Uh, these are the bumper fillers that I fixed on the uh, last video. I sanded it all down in 80. Got a little spot here to fill in. And then a little spot at the bottom here. If you remember this one here had two big rips in it and this one was all wrinkled up so anyway sanded them with it with 80 put a little bit more uh, epoxy on those spots sand it down in 180 and they'll be ready okay uh, took out the tail lights and housings and everything banged out these this dent here a little dent here this one's got a little dent down here. I gotta sand some more, but uh, I've been sanding with my air sander because my electric one uh, fried, and I got another one coming in in a few hours. So I'm gonna stop for now because this thing, this air sander, keeps my compressor running all the time. Okay, uh, this rubber filler here. This car's been painted, I, I can't, I guess this yellow here is a sealer, and then gold. In fact, I think on that one quarter that I replaced, it was painted three times, had another gold on top of this, but this is the factory here, and then some yellow, some brown, and then you can see this is the yellow of the color of the filler, then brown or gold then sealer and then some more gold okay uh you can take that off if you want but i'm just gonna do it 
uh, while it's on here because it's actually a little bit easier while it's still mounted and there's nothing wrong with like if your car was all rusted rusty along the bottom here you take it all apart and clean all that up but I think I'm, I'm just gonna leave this filler on here I put some uh, poor 15 up on this uh, brace here okay uh, we got a few problems took apart these tail lights and that housing's put it out here and that housing's all busted up um, if I can't get that parts car I called the guy and he hasn't uh, returned my message but if I can't get one off the parts car we're gonna fix this one as you know the new tail lights didn't come with that and it's got a I believe it's a gasket rubber gasket around here uh, we're either going to reuse that or we're going to silicone the new ones in I'm not going to go buy gaskets uh, the other problem I had noticed this rust spot here it's rusting through and when I was doing some pour 15 I uh, put some pour 15 down in there it stopped that but I just noticed that this other side starting to do it too it's kind of bubbly you can't bubbly right there but it hasn't worn through the bottom yet well a little bit so we're gonna have to I can't pour well I might be able to go in this little hole here and spray some stuff in there but anyway I'm gonna grind that down and see what we got you know uh, worst case scenario we're gonna have to cut that out and weld in a piece of metal but I may just fill it in with the Dynaglass Bondo uh, fiberglass stuff okay and then I took off this molding here this isn't rust or nothing it's just uh, it's just mud dirt that's fixing to sand that down it looks like somebody's pookied some stuff in there and I'll take off the rest of these these have got um, plastic clips instead of uh, metal so they may all break I may have to silicone them things in there Okay, I think that's all we're going to go over for now. So uh, I'm going to strip all this down to the metal and get all this whole paint off the rubber. And then uh, fix these dents here. we got a couple here, a couple here. Uh, I think that's it. And do the deck lid. So I'll be back. Okay, guys, I spent about the last day sanding this back end down as you can see I sanded all the uh, bumper fillers down to the metal filled in a couple little spots here uh, fix some dents all along there I got a little bit more to sand there uh, this here is a rat's nest that was up up in this hole here and it was starting to rust along the bottom of that rat piss so I got a little bit of uh, Bondo glass there and I uh, used the rust neutralizer and just sprayed the hell out of it all in there same with this area here I went through this hole and just sprayed it all in and ground this down put some uh, Bondo glass there and same with here uh, it's probably not the best way to do it it's probably best to weld some metal in there but I'll you know, put some along the bottom but I sprayed so much stuff down in there that I I don't think it'll come back this side here is poor 15 but this side I just use the rust neutralizer and then same with up here you can see it turning black sprayed the rust neutralizer in there uh, I probably should take off I'm gonna put one coat I'm about to prime it put one coat of primer and then I'll probably take off these other moldings so I can do this whole this whole back end here prime it and paint it okay and the two fillers here okay so I'll be back when I get it primed 
Okay, guys, I got her all. Spent a couple more hours stripping it down. Uh, it's all stripped down and uh, primed. I'll have to sand it down, prime it again, sand it down, and paint it. It's just taking a while on this rear end doing that, but uh, pretty much got that done. Got the little extensions over here. And then uh, I started taking all the loose plastics out right here. And I'm going to take the back seat and the rest of the plastics out and spread them out over. Well, I'm going to sand them down first and then spread them out on some cardboard and start prepping them to paint. So I'll be back. Okay, I finally got it all painted silver. The whole back end underneath the deck lid. I don't know how good you can see that, but that's the color the whole car is going to be. Light silver. There's the little bumper ends we fixed, bumper fillers. Okay. I went ahead and took the back seat, these plastic panels, and the rear deck out. Uh, wasn't too bad. Wasn't really a little bit of no rat's nest or nothing in it. So Compared to the RT pretty good shape Okay uh, Show you what I got going on over here Here's those back panels and the other plastic pieces there I don't know if I did this five years ago when I bought it, started sanding it and painting it, I don't know. Same with those pieces. See, these were all beige color, but I don't know if I did it or not. But anyway, I gotta, I'll probably water sand all them down with like 400 grit uh, and then repaint them them two door panels there I still got the front kick panels and the sun visors in there but I'll do them later here's the rear deck and the uh, cardboard doesn't look too bad uh, they recovered it with something I don't know what it is but that's coming off and that's a rear seat I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that seat yet whether I recovered one on my Chevelle and it was about 150 bucks for the material and you just uh, clip it on there with those hog clips bought it from eBay I may buy something like that for that back seat it had two speakers uh, hooked up in the back deck but there says Ford and they're just little ones so I'm gonna get some new 6x9s put in there just like we did the RT Okay, now, remember this taillight housing was all disintegrated and busted here. So, I cut this section here out of this one here. This is off like a PT Cruiser or something. And uh, I cut that out and epoxied it on there with... Uh, this JV plastic weld so I think I got it sealed up pretty good but I'm gonna put a little silicone all the way around the edges and uh, mount that in there like I said I don't know if they make these plastic housings or not but we just went ahead and fixed that one okay so I'm gonna get to sanding on these uh, plastic pieces and I'll be back when I get something new done. I'll show you what I used on the, uh, none of this is sponsored, but here's that rust neutralizer, Loctite. I used that, got that at Lowe's, and got this at Home Depot, Bondo glass, Dyna glass, and that's the uh, fiberglass Bondo that is uh, waterproof. So you wanna use that in spots, like that rear deck. Uh, rust holes that are 
could get water exposed to water so this regular bondo water will get in there absorb into the bondo crack it and that's why you'll have cracked bondo coming up it, it won't do it with that bondo glass okay so i will be back when i get some more stuff done okay guys i got the uh new tail lights bumper put back on i still got to paint this little uh license plate holder but yeah, the lights came out pretty good. I peeled them gaskets off and put them on the new lights. Uh, the other end of the deal here broke, the housing. But I may come across another one. But anyway, I don't know if it looks any different in this light. It's still pretty sunny out. that's pretty much the ass end done and this didn't turn out too bad but it scraped the other side putting it on got little scrapes and stuff that's why I put it on before I paint it that way I can repaint all that uh, then I cleaned up the steering wheel I don't know if somebody put contact cement on it <coughs> or what but I cleaned all that up put on new steering wheel cover and oh I didn't show you and these Novas only look good if these windows here are tinted real black I don't want to paint them black but I went to uh, Walmart and bought some little do-it-yourself kit enough to do two back windows or two two back side windows or a back window and it's supposed to only let in five percent of the light so it's supposed to be pretty dark so i'm going to attempt to do that i also got a set of six by nine speakers at wally mart they're like 49 bucks this was like 10 steering wheel cover was like 10. so got it all put together we're going to take it on a test drive and test out some stuff like I said, the last time I drove it was about almost four years ago, three and a half, four years ago. But we're going to make sure everything works. We got the new shocks on there, different tires. We'll check the front end out, check the transmission shifting, uh, stuff like that. So I'll be back in a minute and we'll be test driving it. When you kick it down, it revs real high before it engages. I don't know if that's the modulator valve. The truck lid bangs around. It needs some of them rubber stoppers. Yeah, if you give it a little bit of gas, it'll kick down normally. But you 
and Flora. Nice and straight. Pretty smooth other than that deck lid banging around. Brake light's still on. I think the rear brakes need to be bled. But yeah, that's why that speedometer cable is probably loose. It doesn't work. I guess that's it. I, I don't I don't know if I like the uh, muffler sound on it. I don't know what I can do with that. If anybody knows a muffler that makes a straight six uh, sound decent, let me know. Anyway, uh, I'll see y'all later. Okay, guys, made it back. Uh, she did pretty good. Had the hood open. There's no smoke or uh, overheating or nothing like that. 
I probably should get at least a temperature gauge in there. I don't even know if the idiot light works or not. The only lights on is that brake light. See the stamps of it here. Yeah, that ass ends up a few more inches. Looks good. Need some wider tires on it now. Okay, well, I'm going to end this video. It didn't seem like you got a lot done, but man, that back end took a long time. And uh, there's a bunch of crap on there. But anyway, we got that done. Uh, I'm going to order a whole bunch more parts. I still need to, I'm going to call that guy back with a parts car, see if I can pick that up. If not, I'm going to look around for a passenger door. And uh, I think mechanically it's about done. I got a whole laundry list of stuff still to do to it. But uh, next video, we'll add a bunch more stuff to it and uh, round up more parts be doing a windshield here shortly because the crack I don't know when we'll get to that but just stuff like that and I'm gonna try to save the bodywork and everything till the very last and it's gonna take a while to strip this thing you can see this paint here uh, I think most of the cars been painted twice but there's some parts that were painted three times so you can see this deck lid I didn't do this but somebody sanded this you know and it's got original and then primer and paint or sealer and paint and it needs to be all stripped down to the metal all the way down it's gonna take a while but uh, one good thing about this car is there's no hail damage on it which is very good because that's very time-consuming too there's a few little dents on it probably have to take this front bumper off so I could strip down all this rubber that's metal but this rubber here and paint all this silver too so anyway yeah body works gonna be last so we're just gonna button up all the mechanical stuff and stuff like the windshield and then we'll do the interior uh, I'll probably order that back seat material and redo that and see if I can find some cheap door panels and then the dash I can't find an overlay for it so I'm probably gonna have to take it off and try to repair it and recover it and I gotta order some material to do that back deck I can put in the speakers but I need to recover that deck first so uh, see if we can get that done next video I don't know when all the parts will come in I could order the material seat material door panels uh, carpet too and like I said here's the sun visors and then those kick panels you have to paint them black and then paint all the metal dash black we're gonna take all this apart see if I can clean this plastic uh, and then go through and make sure everything works all the wipers horn works uh, little stuff like that okay so uh, yeah if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe bottom right hand corner of the screen and uh, just click on it subscribe it's free doesn't cost anything and uh, comment like all that stuff share it if you want to follow me along we'll get this thing done with we'll get this thing looking I don't know if I can help but do myself from the uh, Aspen RT but yeah she's going silver with black stripes on it and uh, it should turn out good even though I don't really like paint metallic paint especially with those cheap Harbor Freight paint guns but I do the best I can We'll put some little black along the bottom. Got the center caps ordered. Put them on there, see how they look. They should be here any minute. 
Uh, we're going to strip down that quarter panel too, but that's when I run out of stuff that I don't have parts for and everything. So anyway, I guess that's it for this video, and uh, we'll see you next one. Thanks everybody for watching.